All right, here's this uh, water bottle, mini water bottle pulse motor that I made. And uh, there's a lot of confusion as about what's going on here. And this is not an electrostatic motor. And I think some people were confusing uh, this uh, motor with an electrostatic, which a lot of the electrostatics use these water bottles. But this is an electromagnetic um, motor. And uh, they thought maybe I was driving it from some other place and it's not it's just uh, it's got a driver unit and I'll show you the circuit diagram in a second but uh, this is um, nothing special it was just interesting using that little water bottle for the the rotor and and it was just something I did just to fiddle around with it now on this show today I'm using a great big supercapacitor that's 22 farad well, it's not huge but it's 22 farad 2.3 volt and it's pre-charged and it got pre-charged with a battery pack and this is the uh, circuit for it right here and what it is is a uh, very very simplistic uh, or simple uh, coil with a reed switch driver unit with a big supercapacitor pre-charged with two volts and it makes for a real nifty little demonstration the wire coil is 30 gauge on a plastic bobbin about 10 ohms it's uh, air core there's no core, no core in it and the magnets like I was explaining before are just north south north south with north on the outside face with the electromagnet set up so that when the magnet goes by here it triggers the reed switch pulls that up energizes the coil and the two norths push against one another and it rotates the rotor around when this goes by here and passes the open the reed switch opens up again and the energy that's in that coil uh, the magnetic field collapses and when it collapses it shoots a spike of energy back through the LED this direction now actually it's it's forward and that's there's a lot of confusion about it, back spike but really the energy is collapsing in this direction the way I have this set up here anyway um this is the little driver unit like I say and I've pre-charged the capacitor with the battery pack and a lot of my demonstrations I'm using these super capacitors because it's just easy it's easy to show what's going on plus um, you can actually calculate the quantity of energy in that capacitor and do calculations based on the uh, amount of energy contained in the capacitor and you've got all the other numbers you can calculate to figure out efficiency but that little bottle uh, motor was fun because it was so simple to make this rotor and it's rather uh, friction free because it's very very lightweight and it's just got the plastic against uh, a uh, um, paper clip so it's pretty easy to to rotate it and so what happens when you get a driver unit near it is it uh, it's very easy to turn it on and get it to rotate. Now, what I was thinking was a science fair project for the uh, kids that are trying to learn this stuff. And um, there's a real gap now with the uh, young people learning uh, not theory and not Game Boy type of knowledge, but actually building skills. And I would, if I was teaching right now, I would start out with very simplistic projects and encourage the kids to learn how to build something not look at it not theorize it not look at it on a computer but build it build it up see what it looks like do some calculations on it and see what's happening now you could take this and turn this into an electrostatic motor if you put um, aluminum strips on this and rigged up high voltage on this this could become an electrostatic motor and then you can compare the electromagnetic versus the electrostatic and that would be even more interesting so I just thought this might be encouraging uh, for some of the young people to build up something and look at it and look at it running 
And like I say, if I was teaching right now, I would I would uh, try to encourage the the boys and girls to to build something, not just look at it and theorize it and and stare at it on a iPhone or a computer screen, but get your hands out and build something. Anyway, this is my little um, mini water bottle pulse motor, and like I say, I did this as an encouragement to. Uh, the teachers really to uh, get the kids involved and build something and then do your studying with the calculations and all the Maxwell equations and everything else but get them to build something thanks for watching